My name is Marie Miller, and quite by accident, I have witnessed magic. Magic, as it turns out, happens to compress itself in hundreds of fluffy newborn turtles on an underground beach. What I came to realize just about a moment after the last one tumbled into the water was that my being there was nothing short of miraculous. I stumbled, literally, upon the nest on a run down the beach of my present home. Throngs of black shells sliding off the sand. Nothing but the sound of the waves on the bases. Never had I seen such a silence over people before. From the moment they are born, the turtles are plunged into uncertainty. They risk an epic, but really rather humble, pilgrimage to the ocean, guided solely by the light of the moon reflecting off the waves. Hordes of tourists will wait by nest the night, watching and holding their breath. There are volunteers who will spend summers and even years of school teachers and never see the match. But there I was, windblown, complaining, sweating, anticipating nothing from the run but maybe a friend. Ten minutes earlier, or ten minutes later, on the cliff side of the beach, and I would have missed the whole thing. Somehow seeing the babies had honed my day to this single moment, and the whole event was something I never knew I wanted, or rather needed to see until I saw it. Although it's not every day we happen to see baby turtles on run, it goes to show the beauty of uncertainty. I was awestruck for the rest of the day, but a little disappointment nagged at me. Why can't every day be like this? But then I realized, maybe it wasn't that nothing was happening. Maybe it was the way I was seeing it. It took something that extraordinary to become aware of all the ordinary things I had missed. If my day can hold the possibility of baby turtles, what else could happen? What had already happened that was just as beautiful, just possibly for the white bodies? What was I doing? Suddenly the issue became apparent. We have forgotten how to recognize magic and the beauty of our world and our life. We go to school, work, go home, work, maybe exercise, dinner and Netflix until we fall asleep, to wake up the next morning that familiar? In this routine, we are safe and comfortable. We reminisce about our past. We worry about our future. We just make it through our days, often tired and looking forward to the next thing to distract us from our sleep, work, eat, lull. Life unfolds in the present, but so often we let the present slip away, unobserved and unseized, squandering precious seconds of our lives. Every definition of magic that we've ever come across, in books or movies, will suggest the opposite every day. Magic, actually, is defined as the quality that makes something seem to move in everyday life. What a sad thought. If we can't have magic in our day-to-day -day lives, when can we expect to find it? So maybe we defer ourselves from the definition. Maybe instead of floating away with our expectations and our boredom and our disappointment, we try to anchor our minds and open our eyes. Only then, when we start to see the value of a single moment, does enchantment enter our world. That's where mindfulness enters your picture. Mindfulness is a state of open, active, intentional focus on the present. If you've heard the term before, you may be picturing a room full of yogis, fully immersed in a yoga. Well, mindfulness can be practiced through yoga, it's not really the same thing. People who are mindful are more likely to experience themselves as a part of humanity and as a part of a greater purpose. We don't know what's going to happen today or tomorrow. We don't know how long we have here. But not knowing what's going to happen is the exciting part of it all. Be open to the way things are in each moment without trying to manipulate the experience, without judging it, clinging to it, or pushing it away. The present moment can only be as it is, and trying to change it will cause you needless suffering. Cultivate your patience and complain less. Develop a habit of noticing new things in whatever situation you find yourself in. Once you realize that you don't know everything you thought you did about your mind, it becomes an adventure in those the more you notice, the more you see, the more happiness you find. Magic. 
For me, magic is seeing 100 heart and baby turtles on a lake down the beach. But it's also laughing with my best friends, running in the warm summer rain, and seeing my mom smile. You've heard it before, but you need to realize that it's truly the little things that mean the most. Recognize the importance of where you are in your life today. Intend on engaging in the words of these lovely speakers here tonight. Feel gravity anchoring you to your chair and just breathe. Don't dwell on past accomplishments. Dream about your future, but work hard today. Try something new. That's what makes life beautiful, worthwhile, and even magical. Everyday instincts are what make up the majority of our lives. <coughs> So why shouldn't they be the most rich? Why wait for some jarring incident or some revelation hearing moment? Why wait until you have limited time to start spending it with purpose? You have one life, so live it. Make today count. Embrace change. Appreciate the value of a single moment. Go find.